In this video, I will tell you how to repair an LG direct drive inverter washing machine motherboard with no power. I will tell you as well how to check it. A thick silicone layer is covered on the top of the PCB board to prevent the water from going inside the PCB and the motherboard from getting short circuited. I will now open the motherboard from the cover. Now I have opened the screws of the PCB board from the display case. Let's separate it from the display. After separating this from the display, two PCB boards are inside. This small PCB board is separate from the bigger one. I will separate these both as well. To separate it, press the locks of the PCB case, then the PCB will be separated from the bigger one. This is its connector I will open it. Press the connector inside then it will come out. See, both the PCB boards are now separated. We have already checked this PCB by passing electricity through it. It is not turning on at all. I will now cut this plastic and check the PCB from beneath that why it is not working. I will cut the PCB board, plastic from the rectification circuit side. I have this mini grinder for cutting the PCB board plastic. I have already fitted cutter with the mini grinder tool. I will plug mini grinder in an electric socket. See the mini grinder has started to work and now I will cut the plastic. I am cutting the plastic from the corner to save the PCB board from getting damaged. Now I am checking that the rectification circuit is till here or not. DC chopper is also installed here. But first I will check the rectification circuit so I will cut it till here to check it. While cutting the plastic from the center I will be careful not to apply more force to prevent the PCB board from damage. I have these thin scrappers. By inserting these scrappers inside the plastic I will remove the plastic by pushing upwards. We will do this work carefully that any part beneath it could not get damaged. Now I will take a harden tool. Through which it has easily come upward. Now the PCB from the beneath is also visible, so I am going to check the problem now. Now I am checking this motherboard and if anyone among you are facing this problem can fix it easily. I am passing electricity to the motherboard. This LED light has started to work. The switching relay sound is continuously beeping. Let me take the mic near to the relay so you all can hear it. So you heard it. This is the problem with this motherboard. I will have to cut the plastic from beneath the PCB till the heat sink to check the rest of the parts and components in the PCB. I have removed the rest of the plastic cover as well now. I am going to remove the IPM heat sink now and inspect the board problem. I will open these screws to remove the heat sink from the motherboard. I have removed the heat sink now. The IPM is visually okay. And I have tested it, but let me explain you what the connections are in this IPM. These three small pins are the negative points. The first pin on the left side is the positive point, and the larger pins are the U, V, and W. As you know, this PCB board has a relay beeping problem. The possibility is that two to three components in the PCB could get faulty. The first is that the feedback voltages are not going correctly. This is the feedback optocoupler installed here. The DC chopper could get bad. Other than this, switching IC could be bad. I will also check the rest of the things, but these main components in the PCB could get bad. I am checking the optocoupler now with a multimeter. The meter shows a reading which is 0.695 on the diode mode. I have changed the polarity of the probes now. This is okay. Now I am checking the optocoupler from the other side. I will again change the polarity of the probes. We should not get a 0.000 reading. This is okay, as it showed a 0.590 reading on the multimeter. Now I will check the DC chopper, I have demonstrated it physically seems to be okay physically. I didn't find any issue with the DC converter. I have changed its capacitor and the switching IC now. I did quite a work here. But still, the PCB has a problem. Let me show you the problem and then find where the problem could be. It still has the same problem. The switching IC was fine, but I expected it could have been bad. That's why I changed it. I have already seen the display PCB. Let me show you the problem. I will open the connector from the main motherboard. I will not turn off the camera. 
I will show you now. Now I have opened the second connector. While observing the display, I saw this rust on the front side of the display PCB. When I further inspected it, I also saw the rust problem with these wires, which could be a problem. Then I checked the display PCB from the back side and removed it from its plastic case to determine whether it had any problem or not. When I saw this trace which starts from here and ends here, it was also rusty, which I have cleaned now, and you can see it visually. I cleaned it with a thinner liquid. This wire is disconnected in this trace. I think detergent had fallen on it, due to which the prints got rusted and the wire disconnected. I didn't solder it yet because I wanted to show you all. Now I will repair this print and then check this PCB board. Friends, I have now fixed these prints by soldering them. I have cleaned the rest of the rusted print. I am now installing it back to check it. Now the relay buzzing sound has stopped. Now I will press its power on button. It has power on and started to work. The display is showing an error because there is nothing installed in it. And friends, this much was for the video. I will see you at the next one. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next video, and subscribe. It is free. Thank you.